Hi everyone and welcome to the Mathsman YouTube channel. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to translate shapes. We're going to be working through three examples and we're going to start basic and then at the end of the video, we're going to be working towards this exam style question. So let's get right into it. What is translating shapes? So translating shapes is when we have a shape on a coordinate grid and we move it from one place to another without changing its shape or its size. Okay, so this square here, we're going to move it somewhere else, but we're not going to change its shape or its size. We're not going to rotate it or anything like that. So in this question here, it says translate the square four right up six. So it needs to go to the right and then it needs to go up. So it tells us in the question to go four right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a point. So I'm going to pick this corner here and I'm going to go, I'm going to count four squares to the right. So one, two, three, four. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up six because it tells me to go up six. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six so now that corner the point of that square is going to be there so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to mark it with an x and then i'm going to consider well if the bottom right corner is there now where will this corner be well it'll be two squares higher one two so it'll be here so where will this corner be well it'll be one two it'll be it'll be here and then this corner will be here so the new square will be here and then i will just draw it onto the grid so in this next question it says translate the triangle on the grid five left five left up two what are the new coordinates of each vertice so there's two things to do here. I first need to translate the triangle and then I need to write down in the answer what the new vertices are, what the coordinates for them are. So I'm going to start by moving it left five. So I'm going to pick this corner here. I'm going to go left five, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to go up to one, two. So that corner is now going to be here. So that must mean the other corner is here. And then the top part of the triangle should be there. So the new triangle should look something like this. And then to finish the question, I must make sure I write down the coordinates. So the this corner here is going to be three, seven. So it's going to be 3, 7, because I went along to 3, and then I went up to 7. I'm going to put these in brackets, because that's how we write coordinates. I'm going to do this corner next, so that is 5, 7. So 5 across, and 7 up. Then the final coordinate, this one here, is going to be four across and ten up so four across ten up and there are the new coordinates for the translated triangle so in this last question it says what will the coordinates of point a be when the square is translated three right and then four down so this is point A here. So I've got to figure out what the new coordinates are going to be. So I'm going to start by moving it um, three right. So I'm going to pick point A. I'm going to just going to stay with that three right. So one, two, three, and then four down. One, two, three, four. So that's where the new point A is going to be, where I've put that yellow x so that's going to be nine across and five up and five up 
So the new coordinates for A is going to be 9 across and 5 up. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you. If you did learn something today, then please help out the YouTube channel by smashing that like button down below. And maybe leave us a comment in the comment section letting us know what you would like to see a video of next. If you would like to see those videos, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I release new videos weekly and I would love to have you there. Thanks again for watching and catch you in the next video.